Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Ark Almost Vanilla. It's been a couple days since I've put up an episode. I'll let you know we've had some computer problems going on around here. Um, I've had to do a little uh, technical work. JoJo's computer has, an, has had an issue. Uh, we ended up having to replace the graphics card in order to get her going again. Uh, we've been working on the base. Hey, first of all, folks, I want to... Uh, Thank you all for for the views and and the likes that you've been you've been giving these videos. Uh, really means a lot to me. You know, I just hope everybody's having fun, enjoys what they're watching. Um, you know, when I see people viewing my videos, it makes me want to make more. So it really makes it fun. Really gives me a reason to come in and do it again, uh, make another one, and put it up for you, all of you to see. Um, so, you know, I've been doing a lot of work in between videos again. You can see I've got all the crafting stations except one going now. Uh, first of all, this is the industrial forge. Uh, just like the small refining forges we had, this is an industrial one. Um, put, put your metal in there, turns it into metal ingots, does it a lot faster uh, than the refining forge does. This is a generator. This generator po uh, supplies electricity for all these different stations and stuff. Uh, if you look in here, I've got gasoline in here. It's running on gasoline. Uh, this is a chemistry bench. It takes the place of the mortar and pestles. So I can make my narcotics in here, spark powder, so on and so forth. Uh, this is a fabricator. Um, use this to make uh, different weapons and armor. Uh, here's that assault rifle. Um, that's something up and coming to do. You guys saw the smithy before that's been around the S plus crafting station refining for just our refrigerator uh, refrigerator works a lot better than a um, preserving bin the things take a lot longer to spoil I do have three re preserving bins here because I still need to use preserving bins to make jerky you know I put oil and spark powder and cooked meat in there and it makes jerky this is my industrial cooker or actually the industrial grill um, I cook all my meat in there. You can throw a lot of meat in there and, and uh, prime meat and cook it up. This is the industrial cooker. It takes the place of the small cooking pot. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of uh, uh, tree sap in here. So since it doesn't spoil, I'm just going to leave it in there. And these things have 100 slots of storage. So I just bring the other materials over, uh, turn it on, cook that stuff up. This is a beer barrel. Uh, you can see we've got seven beer liquid now if i put some glass jars in here uh, i could carry that beer with me there is one dino that requires beer for taming that's the calico theorem uh i did move got my my crops in here oh and guys didn't see i did take the other base down so it's gone you know i got ramps got little railings and stuff up here i've got this all the way around the base now uh, we left the taming pen there for now uh, I think I'm going to incorporate a taming pen into the base. So the idea is in one spot have an opening in the ceiling with glass walls coming all the way down so that the bottom of the uh, taming pen is the same size as that 5x5. Five five. And then, you know, I'll have openings that I can actually shoot through so I can drop, drop something right down into that taming pen right inside my base and do my taming inside my base. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I got to get that, uh, got to got to get it figured out exactly how I'm going to and where I'm going to put that. It might be best kind of over here in the middle somewhere. Yeah, we'll see when that time comes. Got a lot of work to do to get that done. Um, did get the Achatinas moved over here. They're over here, and as a matter of fact, I need to gather materials from them. I did turn off, you can see I turned off all the, the nameplates and stuff, turned off the UI, because as you look at things now, that's just a jumbled mess of names. So I can just do this and turn all that, turn the UI off. Uh, how's your food doing? Yeah, you can go a little while before I feed you again. See, I do have to watch the food levels on these guys and bring them tasty cakes when they get low. They're half right now, so I've got some time. This guy here, he always likes to stand by the door. And sometimes he kind of gets out before the door shuts. Oh, got him. 
All right, well, there's some more organic polymer for us to get us closer to that industrial grinder. Um, the thing the industrial grinder does, it can change, you know, wood into thatch, I think stone into flint. Um, it just transfer, uh, grind stuff from one thing to another. Uh, pretty handy. There also is an, one other thing called a propellant that it, you can make in the grinder. And there's something called an item gatherer, part of S plus that I could put in here and it'll gather all the achatina paste and organic polymer and pick up all the poop whenever something poops and collect it in there. Um, Bane tamed us up an Ovis. Uh, these guys, I can ride her around. She, that's a female. Uh, the Ovis, if you kill them, you get raw mutton from them. And raw mutton is the only thing better for taming than raw mutton is an actual kibble for a particular dinosaur. Um, so plans are, you know, we plan on starting to farm Ovises. We're going to get a male, few females. We'll make eggs or uh, uh, make babies and let them grow up. And then, unfortunately, it's... We're going to kill those <laughs> ones that we grow up so that we've always got a supply of the raw mutton on hand. I know that sounds cruel, but I guess that's, that's kind of what livestock is, right? So that's the idea. We plan on uh, getting a couple more ovises and start making uh, babies or grow up new ovises so that we've always got a supply of raw mutton around here. And then if you cook it up, it's called lamb chops. Um, today, I need to work on... I need to start getting my kibble farm going. So I need to start... Uh, I need to start taming up some things so we can get eggs. And I still have not even tamed up a dodo on this server. So I'm going to grab a club. Uh, we've got this. Let's go... Uh, mm, dogs. They're a little jumpy right now because it's just me and the dogs. And anytime something drives by, they think they need to bark at it. So you're going to hear the dogs in the background once in a while. Uh, I really don't feel like yelling at them right now. So hopefully they should just settle down. Okay, so dodo taming. I guess we should have got some, some berries. Uh, dodos are berry tame. So let's get some, yeah, let's take some of those. Mayho berries work the best. So I don't really need 2,000 of them. Uh, another thing we plan on taming up today is getting a couple scorpions. Now we need the scorpions for eggs, uh, scorpion eggs so we can make kibble for T-Rexes. Here is a dodo. Which one did I put my club in? Six? There we go. Uh, so we need to knock this dodo out without killing it. So, boom, there's one. Two. Come on, dodo. Yep. Hopefully I don't kill it. I guess I could have just shot it with a trank dart, but why waste a trank dart on something like that? Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn our view back on. And we'll put some of these in there. We don't need that many. Oops. Let's do this. 15. So let's turn this back on. And he's almost tamed. It's a male, so we need to get some females. He might be the only male I tame then. And he's up. Uh, nice thing about dodos is you can pick them up. We got a dodo butt in our face here. That's alright though. And then we need to change him to stop following me and put him on passive. Because dodos don't attack things very well. Right? They, they can't do much damage. And I think we're going to make our... I think we're going to make our kibble area... We might have to change this here. Yeah, we're going to put him here for now. And we don't want him following me. Let's put him on passive. Right there. And now he's not following. So, 
He doesn't need these berries on him. He's got berries in the feeding trough. He can eat feeding troughs right here. So, Okay, we got a male. Uh, we need a female. Let's go ahead and take Bandit. We can pick him up with Bandit. I've got the doors on automatic close. But I hated walking close to them all the time and them opening up because... Now that I've moved that other base and stuff, I've got a lot of Rexes and stuff spawning over here. So we're on the lookout for a female Dodo. Mm, no. I guess if you usually if you see a Dillo, you're probably not going to see a Dodo. Because the Dillo probably ate the Dodo, right? Uh, these are new. New Dinos to Ark. The Kentrosaurus. They're kind of like a small Stego. Um, you cannot ride them. Uh, but they've got a unique ability to actually spike things and kind of... Uh, whatever they spike sticks on their tail so it does a lot of damage for a while. Um, comp oh. Stick up on this. I don't think it stole anything from me, so we're good there. Uh, we kind of need to tame some compies up, too. But we're on a dodo hunt. We're, we're looking for dodos. Maybe I'll go to the other side. You know, dodos usually hang out by the water. Um, sometimes you do find them up in the woods, too, but... Commonly you find them. I guess they're easiest to see down by the water, so you just fly around by the water and look for them. We need a female. And then we're going to go get a couple scorpions today, too. Come on, dodos. Any dodos over here. That's patchy. Mm, no. Let's fly along this other coast over here. I'm liking our base spot, though. Uh, this is the first time I've built over in this area. And I think it's going to turn out pretty... I think it's going to work out pretty good. You can see I've got so many parts to my base, so many different pieces that it takes a while for it to render in. There we go. And you can see I put the ramps and everything on this side too. So we've got easy access to get in our base. Of course, on our flyers, we can go up and, and go through the opening. Land inside. Uh, we got some dodos over here. We don't even care what level they are. I mean, the lower the... Well, that's a 92. The lower the better. But we only need one male. There's a six... There's a low-level female. I think that level 12 female is going to be the one right there. Why don't you come with me? Come be my friend. Now, anytime you're carrying something, if you actually, like when I fly down through here, if I actually, if this dodo touches against my base, like roof or floor or anything like that, it's gonna, um, it forces me to drop it. So, I don't even have to drop it. I can just land and it's gonna go out. I don't, I guess we're gonna try it. This may do enough damage that it kills this dodo. Uh, let's see. Nope. Knocked it out. I think we can just put five on there. I don't think he'll, uh... I don't think I gotta worry about him waking up. So that'll be two dodos. I mean, ideally, I'm probably gonna go get some more females. I mean, I can pack all kinds of females around this male. And they'll get the mate bonus. Um, so the male can have all kinds of females around it. And it gives the mate bonus to all of them so that they lay more eggs. Uh, so we want this thing on passive. Good, and we don't want it following us, so I can whistle stop. Good deal. So let's get some dodo eggs going. 
Um, we have collected more uh, dillo eggs, so that's on our way. Uh, if we find another high-level Anki or a Dodic or anything like that, uh, that's the kibble that we will need for those. Uh, Dodo kibble is used for pteranodons and um, oh goodness I can't think of what they're called they're, they're, the dolphin like things we call them ichthys okay we're looking for scorpions and like I said for, for egg layers the lower level the better because it's quicker and tame so I generally see some scorpions up here when I come up here to gather metal so let's check up here and see what's going on. Now the Giga has moved away from the mountain, but it moved into the river that's going toward the redwood biome. So he's down in that canal. So that's actually a good spot because we can stand up on the, the cliff face and shoot down at him from there. So that's something that's coming up pretty soon, I think. I can fit him inside my base, so... Uh, there's a scorpion. What do we got? What level are you? 100 female. You know what? Um, I'm gonna take it. Scorpions do serve a purpose, too. I mean, you can use scorpions as base defense and stuff. And I guess I could get on her and go out and kill stuff and collect uh, meat and stuff with her. With our taming rates the way they are, this shouldn't take too long to get this done. And it is a female, so I'm going to grab whatever I can as far as that goes. Now, scorpions, uh, their favorite food, actually the best thing you can use to tame them is uh, spoiled meat. So we're going to go inside and get some spoiled meat and stuff after we get this thing knocked out. They don't have any kibble. There's no dino egg kibble that, uh, that they prefer. So the best thing we can use is the spoiled meat. I think you can use regular meat, but it's not very effective and takes a long time. And we've got plenty of spoiled meat, so let's just drop drop her in there. Should be all right in there for a second while I go on in here. And might even actually have some. Yeah, I got some spoiled meat on on Bandit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more pieces here. Uh, we've got plenty in here. Well, let's do that. I'm not sure how many it's going to take. I do have narco berries. So I think we're good to go here. I think actually I even have. Uh, it would be over here. Um, Pulmono Scorpio saddle. That's a blueprint. That's an actual saddle. And that's a blueprint. So let's just take this saddle with us for now. Oop, stuck in the door. To close you. Alright. Let's get this done. Uh, so scorpions can knock you out. We could actually even use a scorpion to... We could carry a scorpion with a RG. Put it on aggressive so it attacks anything it gets by, and we can just carry it around and let it uh, let it knock stuff out. Now they don't do as much torpor as, like, say, our darts and stuff do. So there's that possibility they'll actually do too much damage and not enough torpor, and actually kill things before they knock it out. And she's down. I like her coloring though. Look at that. Well, let's put this on her. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some narco berries too. Don't know if we're even going to need it, but oh, she's pretty though. She's got 840 health, 165 melee damage, 264 weight. She's actually got higher than normal weight, I do believe. Stamina at 460. Uh, stats look pretty good because I think she's got higher than normal melee damage and Probably average health. Torpor is coming down. 
And we might have to end up using some of those narco berries to keep her keep her unconscious. I'm not the type that just trusts and, and like, I mean, I could be going searching for another uh, scorpion right now while this is happening. I don't like walking away from my tames, to be honest with you. I wonder if we can do anything close by. Sometimes scorpions come down here, too. Let's take a look real quick. I'm not seeing anything right now. Don't think we need any more dillos right now. You know, you always, um, like we're going to do with the dodos and, and the scorpions and stuff, having extra females is not a bad idea because that just gives you more and more chances uh, for them to lay an egg. Now, I don't know what parasaur eggs are used for, what kibble, what animal likes their kibble. Hmm, this might have been something I have to look up. I might kind of do like a Noah's Ark type thing. Uh, and get two of everything. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, I don't think I'm really going to need to use any of these, but I'm going to go ahead. We'll give them 10. Now, I know you can hold that E button down, and it will just spam feed, but it does it very, very fast. Um, so when I'm actually, you know, narking something up with berries... Uh, I'm going to probably just do it one at a time because I just counted off 10, 10 berries there, which is going to give it 100 uh, torpor or torpidity because each narco berry gives 10 torpidity. So, yeah, that's going to be fine. It's going to tame up from there now. Um, so It's safe in there. I don't see any RGs flying around. That's about the only thing we'd have to worry about is an RG coming in and it's going to go ahead and tame up so let's go find and that's a female right so we need we need to go find a male scorpion let's check down here I guess we could have checked up there while we were up there but we had to can't carry more than one so we got to do this one at a time oh, all kinds of RGs out here Anki I'm not looking at Ankies right now because if I saw a high level Anki, I'd want to tame it. Uh, Anki did a great job of killing that alpha. It's something I'm going to keep in mind. and Maybe I'm going to try and get a really high level Anki. We did have on the server, we went ahead and, and over by JoJo's base, I told you guys about that Alpha Rex. Uh, I didn't get it on camera but me and Bane and Jojo um, went ahead and killed that Alpha Rex we did it with three RG's uh, got to a point I had to get out of there because I was my RG was about dead I had to pull off go heal it a little bit spam it give it some meat force feed it some meat and get some stamina back and while right before I got back into the fight uh, Jojo killed it uh, Pretty exciting. Uh, the RG I was on gained like four levels just from that kill, and I think I think JoJo's RG like gained like 14 levels. Bane's didn't gain much. I think he only got a couple levels. But Bane ended up getting a Mastercraft crossbow, which is the highest. Um, the highest level, I guess. The the. You know, you got primitive, then you got ramshackle, then you got, what do we got here? Female. Another female, level 8. We're going to go ahead and take her, though. Level 8, level eight female. We can't uh, pass that up. That's too easy of a tame. Let's see, what are you? So that, you're a level 8 female also. Wow, we're going to get a lot of females here. Still haven't seen a male, though, have we? We need a male. Nope, let's get a male. I'm going to put this eight up here. I might come back and get her off camera. Uh, but I want to, on camera, get a male. So we've gotten a male and a female dodo. So I'll set this level eight right up here with the other one. 
And when I come up here next time, I might just tame those out here in the wild. Just knock them both out and tame them both up here. Where? We gotta find a male. Male scorpion. I never really noticed this ridge up here before. Never really checked it out. Saw there was a stego up here. I guess it's not much of a ridge. We need a male scorpion. I mean, we've seen almost all females. Well, we have seen all females so far. This has got to be a That's a female, too. And she's not mate boosted, so there isn't a male close enough to her to show her mate boosted. So, oh, we're about out of stamina. We need to land. It's one thing about flyers. You can see... Mm, Carno, you stay over there. Got to pay attention to your stamina. See, all kinds of bad stuff around here. Uh, but Bandit's a pretty tough bird. I'm not really that nervous. Of course, Allosauruses can get you stuck in them. Then you, uh, you either need to kill them or die. Just like with that RG fight. Or, I mean, that uh, Alpha fight. Alpha Carno. Because once you get stuck in them, you're not getting out unless you kill them. It's kind of a... The hitboxes kind of get tangled together and then you can't... You know, you're not allowed to go through a dino. And then when you get the, the three of them on top of you, their hitboxes have completely covered yours and you can't get away. Hmm... I'm not having much luck here on a male scorpion. Let's go down through the woods here and see what we can see. Of course, they're hard to see in the woods, but sometimes they go down to the beach, too. And sometimes the thing to do is just land and let any of the aggressive stuff in the area come to you. Nope. Come on. We'll go over here where Bane had issues with scorpions when he was building his base, remember? I don't know if he ended up tearing that down. Bane does have a base built now. It's not too far uh, around the ocean away from me. It's the other way, though, towards the snow biome. Come on, we need a male scorpion. Well, sometimes things don't work exactly the way you want them to. Um, so the easiest way for me, just to let you know, the easiest way to, for me to record videos is to actually record it start to finish because then all I have to do is upload that video. If I end up doing pieces, like go away, come back, go away, come back, um, I have to actually render those videos and do video editing and then put those together and that's not hard but the amount of time it takes to render the video to make that all one video so that it's a uh, something that I can upload it takes like it takes like six seven hours when I'm doing a half hour video and then it takes like seven eight hours or more to actually upload it to YouTube so that's like a two night thing I want to get this. I want to get this video uploaded tonight, so that it's up for you guys to watch tomorrow. So if I don't find a male scorpion pretty quickly, we are going to not get a male scorpion in this video. I'll get one off camera and probably get some more females. We'll get those eggs going so we can get. Uh, Nice high-level T-Rex with a good taming effectiveness so that its melee damage goes really high. Okay. And now I got those two low-level. Let's take the gamma up a little more. 
Mm, it's almost whitewashed. It is a little bit foggy. Well, folks, I think we're out of luck here. One more little scoot around. A lot of saber tooths. Let's go get on that female, that female scorpion, and I'll show you what they're like, what they do. Maybe find a male on the way. I doubt it. We've already been through this area before. And they're another aggressive dino, so they'll try and attack the RGs and, and the T-Rex, and, and there's a T-Rex down there to the left. So they're kind of, they're kind of kamikaze pilots there. They'll They'll attack anything, and even if they can't win the battle, kind of like the terror birds. And even if they can't possibly win, they'll give it a shot, and then they there aren't as many of them around then. So I will actually I'll have to check that stuff out. I'll have to find one off camera. So let's get over here, and I'm sure that our tame is done. Yep, 149. Let's go up and through the top. There we go. And there she is. And I've got the saddle on me, so let's put that on her. I'm going to take these back. I'm going to leave that, that uh, spoiled meat on there, though. Oh, I gotta put this in the saddle slot. There we go. They're kind of a neat, they're really a neat dino. Um, I guess the first major dino I used on official was a scorpion. In here. You know, they turn on a dime. You just keep turning, turning, turning. And here's his fast speed. Now, let's see, can we... Level 40. Let's see. Can we keep up with it? It's going to keep running. Maybe I'll get stuck on a rock. If I boosted its uh, movement speed a little bit, I can catch up to it. Okay, stuck on a rock. All right, stay right there. Come on. Are you serious? Look, I can climb over that too, though. Now, you can knock things out with these. That's what I'm actually attempting to do here. I don't have a choice of different attacks. Uh, it just has the one attack, and sometimes it, it stings with its tail, and other times it attacks with its claws. All right, we're going to let him go, because I'm going to find something easier. Oh. Um... I don't know if I can knock this thing out. Now we got some. Alright, I killed the Trudon. There's the Titan Maneers drones. Killing those. Sweet. Get some Titan off these. Didn't take much damage. Come on. Dillos are nice because watch. Let's give it some time here. He's kind of stuck in me. So as long as I give it a little bit of time in between. No, of course. Trudon decides he needs to get involved. Oh, mate boosted. Okay, am I uh, might have to gain some stamina back here. I'll give it a second. Oh, these things take your stamina. Okay, so that ends up being an issue. They, The Trudon steal your stamina, so it was never going to come back. So let's just walk away from it. Is it following me? Nope, it gave up. So our stamina comes back pretty quick. 
Uh, but we got some stuff. We got some meat and some chitin and some leather. Uh, I forget what these things are like in the water. Let's check it out. Yep, they're not much for swimming. It's not too bad, though. Go down. Not too bad. Now, if you raise oxygen level, uh, it makes them swim faster. Of course, I'm not going to take this thing up against a Rex or anything like that, but... Um, she'll... Go out. She could be used to cluck some meat and stuff. She's not as good as the, the saber tooth at doing that kind of stuff, but... You know, just have fun with her, but I like that coloring. I have to figure out what I'm going to name her. And we got a couple dodos to name, too. And this Ovis needs to be named. I don't know. All right, well, I think that's going to be the end of the episode, folks. Take a look at this base. I think we got Rex up in there. So, yep, that needs to come down. Moved out of the way. And we've got to do some accenting. Make it look a little nicer and stuff. It's kind of, kind of plain Jane. Kind of blah right now. We'll do things make it look nicer. Well, hey, thanks for watching, folks. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, if you like what you saw, subscribe. We just made a new server. And we're going to be, st I'm going to start releasing some videos on a full modded server. Uh, that's going to be a unique experience for you guys. I'm going to, our introductory video, I think we'll have uh, Bane and, and Jojo on there. Um, my mom started playing on this server. She's got a base on the other side of the island, right? Actually, exactly where we started. Where we started our, our first videos. She actually built herself a little small base there. She's learning. So we're going to have to get, uh, I think we're going to have to get Goldmoon on here and let her maybe maybe we could help her uh, or get her to help us knock something out and do some taming because she's learning and stuff so uh until then thanks for watching folks and we'll see you next time